Mamita. What are you doing here, and why are you in your uniform? Miguel, I'm sorry. This is very difficult for me. What do you mean? What's, what's so difficult? Ivy called the police. She said Fox was awake and able to identify the driver who hit him. So you're here to find out who it was? No. According to Ivy, Fox has already identified the hit and run driver. He has? Who was it? He says it was you, Miguel. It was me? Yeah. Fox said you are the one who hit him with your car. Fox, you must be mistaken. I'm sorry, Kay. But I'm not. I remember those headlights coming right at me. Then the car swerved for a second like the driver was deliberately trying to hit me. That's when I saw the driver's face. It clearly. It was Miguel. I just, I can't believe it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's Louise. Hmm? On the TV, that's Louise. Police report a breaking development in the Fancy Crane rape case. An arrest has been made and the suspect will be charged with the kidnapping and attacks on the billionaire heiress Fancy Crane. According to police, the evidence against the suspect is credible. Well, that's good news. I mean, it uh, must have been a bit of a surprise for police seeing that they had such strong evidence against Louise. I wonder who the suspect is. Who knows? Uh, you know, I, I never believed that Louise could be the rapist. No. That's ridiculous. Well, now at least his name is going to be cleared and he and Fancy can finally be together. I'm sure you must be happy about that. Aren't you, Sabrina? Well, the guy is being booked. He is never going to hurt you or anyone else again. I'm just so glad they found the man who attacked me. Yeah. I know you thought it was me. No, I, I, I never wanted to believe it, Louise. That's okay. I don't blame you. Think about the evidence. I'm found in the pantry wearing a ski mask. I don't know how I got there. Then my DNA matches the guy who attacked you. I don't blame you for suspecting me. I can't believe you'd ever hurt me. Well, thank you for that. I would cut off my arm before I hurt you. I just don't understand how there could be that kind of evidence linking the attack to you. Huh? Yeah, that makes two of us. Not to mention my St. Christopher medal being found in Ray's dying hand. Yes. Someone's setting me up. The, the man Paloma arrested? Maybe. Hopefully. Then you'll be safe and... Come on, we're in love. We're going to start our life together again. Louise, I'm, I'm almost afraid to be positive about anything. I know, but that's going to change, Vance. I love you. I love you, too. It's just that every time we think things are going well, something else happens to pull the rug out from under us. Well, Vance. Sam, what are you doing, what are you doing bringing this creep out here? The evidence we had against him is falling apart. What? What are you saying? You're cutting them loose? Oh, God. Jared, what, what, what the hell are you doing here? It's huh? none of your damn business. If you're here to hassle Teresa, Look, forget about get it. Get it through your thick head. I love Tess. In fact, I came back here to ask her if she'd put my ring back on and take me back. And if she says no... Jared, oh my God, I thought I made myself clear when I hit you in the face. Look, stay away from her. She doesn't want you in her life. Tess can make her own decisions, man. 
And if she didn't want me in her life, she would have told me that. Don't you think she told you that loud and clear when she took your engagement ring off? Oh my God, did you see that, 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 that rat? I saw the rat, but yes. How did it get in here? Is it still there? Or... Oh, yeah, it's gone. Oh, this is weird. Okay, first an animated rat appears on the computer. And then a real rat just runs through the office? What is going on? Oh God, it's that thing, that thing that's taunting me. Give up, Teresa. You lost. You'll never have Ethan. Ethan and Gwen will stay together, and they'll have both children, Jane and little Ethan. No, no. Stop saying that. If you try and take him from Gwen, your secret will be revealed. That Ethan is little Ethan's father. Little Ethan will no longer be a crane, and you'll lose all your power. Without your help, your brothers Luis and Miguel will both go to jail, probably for the rest of their lives. My God, baby. Who's doing this to me? I wasn't driving the car. Miguel, you're my brother. And I know you wouldn't lie. But this is very strong evidence against you. I know, Paloma. They found a broken headlight on my car. They matched the blood from the car to Fox's blood from the accident site. Miss, it's hard evidence that we can't ignore. Remember you and Fox had a fight just before he was run over? And Chief Bennett heard you say that you yeah. hoped Fox would crawl off and die? Yeah. This is all very incriminating, Miguel. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's just way too perfect, Paloma. It's got a crane plot written all over it. What do you mean? What I mean? What I mean is that they're trying to set me up. I bet anything, Fox and Julian are the ones behind this. They're trying to frame me, Paloma. Fox, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. You almost died, and this is my fault. No. None of this is your fault. Yes, it is. I was just so... Confused when Miguel came back, I guess I just I let my my old feelings for him get to me, and 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 I gave him hope for us. And I guess when I married you, something in him must have just snapped. Miguel played on your feelings, Kay. He did what he did on his own. This isn't your fault. It has nothing to do with you. I'm sorry. You've gone through all of this. My God, you almost died. Shh. It's okay. I'm all right. I'm still here. Kay, darling. Um, the the nurse said that um, Fox could have some real food now, some solid food. And uh, Fox, would you uh, would you care for something? Yeah, actually, some watermelon or some juice would oh. be great. Would you be a dear? Go to the cafeteria. Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. All right. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Kay, we need to talk. Uh, I have nothing to say to you. Kay! Kay! Please, you have to believe me. This is all a setup. They want you to think I try to kill Fox to get me out of the way and to make you hate me. Oh my God. You do hate me. Look, man, I don't know why Teresa hasn't gotten rid of you for good. But I have a pretty good feeling that if you walk into that office, that's exactly what's going to happen. And you're unbelievable. You just can't accept the fact that Tessa's gotten over you and moved on, can you? Jared, I can accept it if it were true. Tess loves me. She wants to be with me. Then why did she take off your engagement ring? It was just a misunderstanding. <laughs> There's a lot of those when it comes to you. Huh? Look, Ethan, I get it. You don't trust me. No, I don't trust you, Jared. I never have, I never will. And I don't care. And neither does Tess. 
You know, Teresa may have been taken in by your oily charm, Jared, but I know you for what you really are, pal. You know, this whole protection act of yours is really getting old. I mean, don't you think it's a little ironic that you're always so concerned I'm going to hurt Tess? Yes, you hurt her over and over again? No, I've never hurt her intention. Oh, no. Really? You haven't. You've been playing this back and forth game for years, Ethan. Letting Teresa believe that you actually love her and then backing off last second and using your wife as an excuse. Hold up. You leave Gwen out of this. How can I possibly leave her out of this? When the way you've treated Gwen is proof to anyone, including Teresa, that if there's anyone she shouldn't trust, it's you. You played Gwen for a fool for years. Always putting your lust for Teresa in front and ahead of your actual marriage vows. And now Gwen, well, she's gotten up and she's sick of you and she's left. Then what are you going to do, huh? That is a ridiculous lie, Jerry. No, it's not. And you know it. Now Gwen's off trying to heal her broken heart. And where are you? You're here. Trying to convince Tess to stay away from me. Jared, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. Leave Tess alone. Instead of worrying about how I'm treating Tess, maybe you should learn how to treat women yourself. He's torturing me. And why? Honey, I don't know. What about that computer guy? Maybe he can figure out where the emails are coming from. I tried that. It's untraceable. Well, this is just too eerie. I mean... So what do I do? I don't know, honey. I, I wish I had some kind of advice or something to help you, but I just don't know. I don't know. Oh, come on, there's nothing that you can do, right? I love Ethan, and I tell him the truth about our son. Whoever's sending me these messages is going to take me down. If somebody is out to destroy me. Who's out to destroy you, Mrs. Craig? Sharon, are you all right? Fine. You still haven't answered my question. I mean, you are glad that Fancy and Luis can finally be together, right? Of course. I'm just so glad that Luis can finally put this nightmare behind him. Well, so am I. You know, as I said, I, I never believed that Luis was the one who attacked Fancy. Oh, of course not. It's just not in him to do something so horrible and so violent. Luis is the kindest, gentlest man I've ever known. I wonder if you ever talk about me like that, Sheriff. Are you out of your mind? You're not releasing this guy, are hey, you? Just relax. He's gonna cuff him to the chair. I need to talk to you and Fancy. <clears throat> well, you said the evidence against this guy's falling apart? Why? Huh? What happened? I put a rush on the lab tests and I got the results back. Things are not adding up. The duct tape that we found on this guy doesn't match the tape that was used in Fancy's attacks. Yeah, but, but he could have used different rolls of tape, couldn't he? Yes. That's not all. Take a look at uh, his rap sheet. Okay, he fits the pattern. This to Pryor's. Sam, he's got a whole history here. Look closer, Luis. Oh, hell. What? What is it? No. No, this is wrong. This can't be true. I'm afraid it is. The guy was in jail both times when you were attacked. This guy couldn't attack you. It was impossible. Great, so we're right back where we started. Why don't you just back off? Just back off. And don't talk about my personal life, okay? <laughs> wow, that's really funny, man. Seeing all you ever do is talk about my personal life. Well, that's because it affects Teresa. You're still trying to keep Gwen on a string, aren't you? Even while you're here trying to convince Tess to stay away from me, you are unbelievable. Do me a favor. Get this through your head. You're no good for Teresa, and I'm not going to let you ruin her life. Period. Excuse me. No, go call your wife, Ethan. Go ahead. Give her a ring. Did anyone see you walking into the building? No. No, I, I used the secret back entrance that you told me to use. Uh, Why all the mystery? Who's trying to destroy you? Took you long enough. 
Uh, you're avoiding my question. Who's trying to destroy you? Whatever you think you heard, you're mistaken, Vincent. No, I, I distinctly you heard know, you say that... I'm here for a reason. Would you like to know what it is or not? Fine. Go ahead. Uh, tell me why a lowly tabloid reporter like myself has been summoned to the almighty altar of Crane Power. I can just as easily ask you to leave. Fine. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm, I'm all ears. Tell me why you asked me here. I need your help. Really? Uh, what kind of help would that be? Do you remember when J.T. Cornell delivered his envelope to your tabloid? Yeah, sure. Uh, I brought it to that wedding. Uh, one more poor old J.T. was uh, found dead in that wedding cake. Yeah, that, that was my wedding. Ah, uh, oops. Sorry. <clears throat> you said there was nothing in it, right? Uh, right, but uh, from the impression on the envelope, we think that it contained JT's USB memory stick. Good. I need you to find that memory stick. See, it seems to have certain information on it that has fallen into the wrong hands. The hands of the mystery person who wants to destroy you. Just find me that memory stick. Someone seems to be very interested in my personal life, my family, my children. And it has to do with that memory stick. Well, you've come to the right man, Mrs. Crane. If anyone can find that flash drive, it's me. But, uh, you're gonna have to give me more details about the information on that stick that someone's using against you. You'll be told what you need to know, nothing more. Remember, Vincent, I'm head of the Empire. And if you try anything cute, try to cross me, I'll crush you. Of course, I... I wouldn't think of crossing you, Mrs. Gray. Good. And one more thing. Don't let anyone know what you're doing, because I'm in a very delicate situation right now. Oh, you mean the balancing act you're doing between Jared Casey and Ethan Winthrop? No more questions from you, Vincent. Do what you're told. Get me that memory stick. And as you can see, you will be paid very well for your efforts. And if you succeed in helping me, to get a substantial bonus. Tess, what's going on? Why are you hiring this creep to help you? You are my passion all life. We don't have long. Kay will be back soon. How are you feeling? Like I was hit by a car. I'm, I'm feeling better. I should be all right. The plan was for Spike to steal Miguel's car and graze you just enough to frame Miguel. I almost, I almost killed Spike for running you down until he told me you, you asked him to do it on purpose. I wanted to make sure it looked real. The idiot got carried away. Well, carried away, he almost killed you. You were severely chastised, that moron. Actually... This may all turn out for the best. What do you mean? Well, Miguel looks guiltier than ever. Mere identification of him as the driver, Kay believes that he tried to kill you. There's no way she'll be thinking about leaving you for him again. Good. So he's out of her life forever. You don't look at me like that, please. Please believe me, I don't know what Fox told you, but it wasn't me, Kay. I didn't try to kill him. You bastard. You lying bastard. Ugh. You know what? I've been thinking we should get away. Maybe, maybe take a trip to Europe. Europe? Yeah. Just the two of us. What about James? Well, he can certainly accompany us for part of the trip, but we can send him home with a nanny on a crane jet. Uh, he'd have little Ethan to play with here, all the servants to take care of him. I think he might enjoy it. And you know what? So would we. You and I need to get away, spend some time alone together. I don't know. There's just so much going on right now. <sighs> That's why I think it's the perfect time for us to get away. We need to spend some time on our marriage, Sheridan. Why? Do you think our marriage is in trouble? 
No, no, not at all. But every marriage takes work, and it's going to take a little time and effort for us to keep our marriage strong. I'm sure you're right. So many of our friends are having problems right now. Yeah, I know, and I know you'd like to help them all. But isn't our marriage the most important thing? You can't turn this guy loose, Sam. I've got enough to hold him for questioning, but his lawyer's going to show up soon. Look, I know that it doesn't make any sense, but I'm telling you, this guy has something to do with Fancy's attacks. I know it doesn't make any sense because the guy couldn't be in two places, Luis. Okay, fine. Maybe he was working with somebody. Wait, you mean he was watching me to set me up for someone else to attack me? Well, could be. I want to question him. Are you kidding me? You're still suspended. Don't even think about it. Like you said, we are back to square one with no more clues than we already had. Yeah, we thought we had the guy. Turns out, it's not the one. You know that I didn't do this. Bet you know that I would never hurt you, right? You believe me? Tess, what's going on? This guy is a reporter for a sleazy tabloid. Why would you trust him enough to hire him for anything? I'll ignore that slanderous remark, Jared, and ask what you're doing here. I thought you dumped Mrs. Crane. You know, you put one word of this in your tabloid, your career will end. Do you understand? Sorry. Uh, I ask questions on instinct. It's, it's what I do. Okay, well, what you can do now is leave. Fine. Uh, right. <clears throat> you know, uh, I'll just show myself out. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll walk you to the elevator. Well, what are you going to do? Are, are you going to tell Jared that you want to be with Ethan now? Or? Oh, my God, Whitney, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, whoever's sending me this, these messages, they're watching every move I make. If I tell Jared that I want to be with Ethan, then whoever is sending me these messages will tell the world that Ethan is really little Ethan's father. I will lose all my power, and I won't be able to help my brothers. I just wish I, I knew what to tell you, to, to, to help you, but I, I just don't. I'm sorry. You help me by being here, Whitney. I'd like to know what's going on, Tess. This Vincent guy is bad news. I I, I think I should <laughs> go ahead and get going. I'll uh, see you later. Okay, yeah. Well? What's going on, Tess? Hey, Whitney. Listen, what, was that that tabloid reporter that I just saw leaving? Yeah, yeah, uh, Vincent Clarkson. Right, what was he doing here? And what is going on with Teresa? Well, why, why do you ask that? Whitney, she's been acting very strangely. There's something she's been wanting to tell me. She's come very close, but we keep getting interrupted. Why don't you tell me, is she in some kind of trouble? Please tell me you believe me. You know that I'm innocent, don't you? Yeah, yes. Yes, I know you didn't rape me, and I know you didn't kill Ray. Thank you. Let, let's just see what Sam can get out of the guy. Well, I verified the information. He was definitely in Salem County Jail when uh, Fancy was attacked. So if you knew you had an alibi, why didn't you say anything? I told you, I don't talk without my lawyer. Well, your lawyer's not going to get you out of this one because we have your cell phone and all the pictures of the women you were watching. Did you ask him who he was working with, Sam? Working with? What are you talking about? Partner? I don't have a partner. Somebody who wears a ski mask, targeted fancy crane, attacked her twice, and he was a peeper like you. Look, I don't know why you're busting my chops. You already got your man. What man? I already told you. According to what I read in the paper, it's him. Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Look, Whitney, you're Teresa's best friend. If she was in trouble, I know you'd know about it. So is she or what? 
Well, come on, Ethan. This is Teresa we're talking about here. She's always in some sort of trouble, right? So, yeah. so what? Why are you here exactly? I'm here to find out what it is that Teresa's been trying to tell me. I was going in to see her, and then I I ran into Jared. Then I got a text message, and I thought it was from Gwen. Was the text message from Gwen? I don't know. When I called the number, no one answered. Ethan, do you mind if I ask? Do you have any hopes of reconciling with Gwen? Honestly, no. No, I think it's very clear that she、uh, is done with our marriage. Which, incidentally, means I'm I'm free to finally be with Teresa. And is that what you really want? Yeah, it is. Yes. And I thought that's what she wanted, Whitney. But you know, Jared's in there right now, trying to sway her back to his side. Why doesn't she just tell him to take a hike, huh? Tess, I overheard you hiring Vincent to find JT's memory stick. Was there information about you on that USB stick? Look, it's complicated, and I can't really talk about it here. I love you, Tess. If you need help, just ask me. And you can trust me. You know that, right? I mean, in spite of what Ethan says, I am your friend. So tell me what's going on. Let me help you. You lied to me. Fox saw you. He saw you behind the wheel of your car before you, know you tried to. That's impossible, Kay. He couldn't have seen me because I wasn't driving. You're a liar. You tried to kill him. Kay, I swear I didn't do it. Fox is lying. No, you're the one who's lying. I'd like to get my hands on that spike. What the hell did he do to me? Son, you had severe internal injuries. <sighs> my God. But as I said before, this may turn out for the best. Yeah, how? I was able to、uh, get Doctor Gasparo involved in your surgery. Doctor, you paid to tell everybody that I'm dying. Exactly, and he he managed to find the proof of your terminal illness. What proof, Dad? I'm not dying. But he produced this rather nasty tumor. Not yours, of course. It was someone else's. Eve has no idea. And as I said before, as uncomfortable as you are right now, this may turn out for the best because no one doubts that you are very, very sick. I guess it's all worth it if Kay stays married to me. You really love the girl that much. I really love her that much. Losing her was not an option. I guarantee you, you're going to keep her. The evidence against Miguel is substantial. I mean, the broken headlamp from his automobile, and you're identifying him as the driver of the car. He, he will be convicted, and he will be sent away for a long, long time. If no one finds out what we've done. Let's do it. You want to go on a trip? Yeah, it'll do us both some good to take some time out for romance. What do you say? Well, it, it's very tempting the idea of just putting everything out of our heads of what's going on here and, and going away for a little while and enjoying life. Come on, that's exactly what we need. That's just it. I don't know if I can put everything that's going on out of my mind. My family is in crisis right now. Fox is in the hospital. It looks like Ethan and Gwen are headed for a divorce. My family needs me. Your family? The Cranes? Yes, of course. You know, it's kind of funny. You mentioned Gwen and Ethan as part of your family. Well, they were at one time. But you didn't even mention Fancy. I mean, she's your your niece. Surely you must be concerned about what she's going through. Well. Of course, she's been through a, a terrible ordeal, and all the more reason why I shouldn't leave Harmony right now. Yeah, and then there's Luis. 
I mean, you must be concerned what he's going through. Wait a minute. Do you think that I don't want to leave Harmony right now because of Luis? Is that what you're thinking? Well, as a matter of fact, it has occurred to me. Chris, I love you. I would love to go on a romantic getaway with you. All right? I just would feel like I was running away from my family's problems. I'd feel like I was abandoning the people who need me. People who need you? People like Luis? You want to know my take on this whole situation? Because I'll tell you how it went down. No, I don't really want to know your take at all. Sweet setup. Because you're a cop. You saw me watching this girl, so you decide to pretend to be me so you can live out some sick fantasy and then you call me a pervert. I wouldn't rape anybody, especially not the woman I'm supposed to be in love with. You're the pervert here, not me. All right. That's enough. I'm going to take him in the back. Nancy, Nancy, come on, don't, do not let that guy upset you. You know I didn't attack, you know that I didn't kill Ray, right? You know I would never do that. Oh, I, I just keep seeing that horrible ski mask and hearing that horrible voice and the, the, the sick things he was whispering. Mm. I swear to you, I'm going to find the guy who attacked you. I'm gonna clear my name. I never want to see that look of fear in your eyes again. On days of our lives, a family on the run caught. I'm here to reclaim my daughter. We're gonna settle this as soon as we get to port. This week. We need to get off this boat, right? Right, but how? I gotta jump. It's sink or swim for Sean and Belle. We found a section of the life raft. Looks like a shark attack. On the run, the days of our lives, NBC Daytime. Okay, please believe me. How can I? I mean, why would Fox lie to me? He lied to frame me, Kay. It's a quaint plot to get me out of your life because he knows that you love me more than you love him. No, that makes no sense. You actually think that Fox set himself up to almost be killed just to make you look guilty? That's crazy. No one would do something like you know what? that. I know it sounds insane, and I'm sorry, Kay, but it's the only explanation. Unless Fox was accidentally run over by someone else and using that to set me up. No. Well, that's even crazier. You, you think he was hit by someone and instead of trying to get this person off the streets, he just comes after you? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, Miguel. Yeah, well, we don't know who hit him. And if it was an accident, it could have been anyone, Kay. Yeah, but it wasn't an accident, see? And it wasn't just anyone. It was you. You're the one who tried to kill him. Paloma. <laughs> We didn't hear you coming. Que pasa, Paloma? I came to take your statement, Fox. But from what I've heard, it might not be necessary. Chris, if you're worried that I still have feelings for Luis, don't. Because I love you, you're my husband, and you're the only man that I want to be with. I'm sorry. I guess I still can't believe that you actually chose me. Well, I did choose you. You and James are the only men in my life. Oh, look. There's another news update. This just in from the Harmony Police Department. The man arrested on suspicion of attacking Eris Fancy Crane has been eliminated as a suspect. Police say he was in custody in Salem at the time of both attacks on Ms. Crane. This means the prime suspect in the attacks is still Officer Luis Lopez Fitzgerald, who has been suspended from active duty pending investigation. No. Sharon, what are you doing? I'm going to Luis. He needs me. You'll go to Luis over my dead body.
Luis, about that hypnosis. Sam, look. I woke up in the pantry at the Crane Mansion wearing a ski mask, okay? I couldn't remember anything about it, so I did the hypnosis. Eve thought it might help me remember something. Yeah, okay? I, I thought I might remember something too, Chief. <sighs> We've got a problem. You just made it easier for the DA to get a conviction, Luis. Look, Winnie, I won't ask you to betray a confidence, but I know Teresa is hiding something. There's something she wants to tell me, and I also know it's pretty important. So if you know what it is, will you, will you just please tell me? I really want to know what it is. What is it Teresa is trying to tell me? Let me help you. And you can trust me. You can't trust this Vincent guy. He doesn't care about you. All he cares about is the money. I appreciate that, Jerry. I do. But, um, Vincent is a good snoop. And I think he can get me what I need. Well, I'm sure he is a good snoop. But even if you pay him a fortune, he, he's not going to do the right thing for you. And I will. Just tell me, tell me what's going on and let me help you. Careful how you answer, Teresa. One wrong word, and you and everything you love will be destroyed. When are you gonna forget about Luis and start remembering that I am your husband? Luis can spend the rest of his life behind bars. Let me see who you are! Why are you doing this to my family? NBC Sunday is a big deal. Ah! Starting at 7, 6 central with a special deal or no deal. This is the highest first offer ever. This is the highest second offer yet. Then, Grease, you're the one that I want. They're pairing up, and two will be eliminated. And in all-new Apprentice LA, where losers are intense and tempers are flaring. Don't lie! And all-new Sunday starts at 7, 6 central on NBC. Catch an all-new Las Vegas tonight at 9, 8 central on NBC.